What's up guys and welcome back to the spicy noodle adventure today We're gonna be playing Udia in the top lane mainly because we got lucky and got that skin in a box But you know we can make something fun out of it either way I've been shuffling through basically all the keystones and figured out the runes that I like the most and these are them Depending on who they pick in the top lane. We might swap out the bone plating for demolish Oh, I just got a message on discord from a friend seems that we are versing her Before we jump into the action, a massive thanks to the sponsors of today's video, World of Warships. They've approached our channel as they know my viewers are the smartest, the leanest fighting machines that have ever set foot on the Rift, which makes you guys perfect for commanding a massive naval fleet in their free-to-play strategy game. All jokes aside, my honest opinion of the game is that you're probably going to like it. For me personally, I'm a sucker for anything in the World War II genre, so it was immediately a hit to me. The game boasts a large quantity of unique ships and battles, including some of history's most iconic war vessels. There is a large amount of attention to detail which makes the game very aesthetically pleasing. Okay, what happened? Ram it. Ram it. Each vessel has strengths and weaknesses which add both balance and diversity into each oh, match. Fuck. There are multiple game modes including Domination <laughs> and Team Deathmatch, plus there's both casual and ranked matches. I haven't yet sunk enough time into the game to know all the ins and outs, but from what I can see so far, it's definitely worth checking out. So grab your mates, grab some beers, and go dominate your opponents in the ocean with World of Warship. Download the game for free on your PC via the link provided in the description, and you'll receive a special bonus starter pack. This will include some in-game currency for upgrades, a premium ship, one free board slot, and three days of premium time. I hope the game is a great fit for you. Thanks for listening and enjoy the video. I took a look at the Aatrox and he's running Comet, which means we need to get the Doran Shield. If he was PTA, then there's a chance we can just go for the Doran Blade and aim to trade that way, but there's really no option once he has the Comet. Good luck to Candy. I'm sure she's going to need it, right? <laughs> We're going to be a split pushing menace this game. I'm telling you. Mark my words. Starting with Q as we don't want the wave to be pushing in. Honestly, I'm not that confident on Udia. So I'm not going to be looking to do any crazy trades. Happy to just play safe, farm it up. And then once the late game comes, we can just use our superior macro skills to outplay these people. <laughs> Another thing we need to touch on is that I'm not going to be putting any points into my R. So the Phoenix Dance won't have any points, not until the laning phase is over. From what I've seen so far while playing this, every time I put points into it, I just end up wasting mana too much. I don't know if you know what I mean, but... Ooh, there's the Ignite. Oh! <laughs> Jesus, wasn't sure if I needed the Flash. I'm going to ask to push it in. If he doesn't help, then the Aatrox will get back to lane and we won't be able to deny him any guard. I'm honestly not a fan of the changes Riot did to the spawn times in the early game. I don't like how the death timers are super low when you die in the early game. It, I'm not a fan at all. You should get punished if you die. I don't know why you can instantly teleport back to lane and lose nothing. Gonna need some help. <laughs> Give me the healing. Okay. No, oh, I didn't get it. Come on, man. Show some love. Standard build would say that you go for a Ninja Tabai, but because I want to focus so heavily on the split pushing aspect of this game, I'm more than happy just to pick up the Swift Boots. Keep in mind, this isn't optimal, but it's just what I want to do. I'm sure you're noticing the trend of me not playing optimally, <laughs> just doing what I want to do. <laughs> Freezing this in front. Right in front of our wave. He's going to be afraid. I know he just watered the try because he's afraid of the Hecarim. This will just make it, um, make him even more passive. And passive is what we're looking for. 
No! He wants that wave. Start healing. He must be running to the Eve. Eve's gotta be close. Yep. Hey, buddy. And we can tell the Eve's close just because he's running. If he if Eve wasn't close, you'd know he'd be fighting to the death. Or standing still. Oh, that's so bad for us. He's got a massive, massive bounty on him. On the Anivia too. Almost the worst one possible. While that all went down, we managed to put down a decent chunk of damage onto the tower. Jungle is down. No one's going to be expecting us to go for the Rift this early. Hoping the Aatrox decides to go back. Oh my goodness, he's checking. Why are you here? Please! Get lost! Get lost, Candy! Get lost! What are you doing? Why are you here? I don't understand. Out of everyone to show up, I was not expecting to see a support. I feel like there's a little bit of a, a grudge match going on right now. Yeah, yeah, I see ya, I see ya. I don't want to get the bomb. Come on, dude, I got you. Oh, I got him killed! Oops, we're so greedy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I thought for sure we had this guy dead. Like, him dying is... is I mean, it's not, it's not optimal, but it doesn't matter too much as long as we don't lose the first tower gold. We need to make sure that we get this tower and then I won't feel too bad about it. Either top or bottom, it doesn't really matter who gets it. As long as it's not them. Okay, cool, we got it. Ooh. Using flash, let's go. Eve was last in here as well. Big pickup. Oh, he's stuck. Is there any way I can help him? No, no, no! Oh, so greedy. Wow. Game just went right back in their corner now. Ugh, that was fucking huge. Once again, Lulu's here. The worst part is that... Aatrox is actually massive now. <laughs> He's just cleaned up kills from all over the place. Son of Alright, cool, 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 cool. Well, we went from crushing this game to losing it very quickly, huh? Let's assume he clears top while we take the Infernal. He's got no teleport. We can probably make a big play happen here. Let's get the Infernal. Somehow flash, we need to take this. Oh, we just lost a 4v5 and didn't end up taking an infernal. Either way, I'm just gonna go back to focusing on farm. Maybe I can get enough and then win from split pushing. That infernal should have been ours, there's just no doubt about it. They had no smite, and we had a number advantage. I feel like our bot lane and our mid lane, they're just playing like we're winning. Yet they are 1-5-1-4-1-4. Here we go, this is the comeback.
kind of sleep speechless. Don't know where my team went. I'll have to rewatch that. In my mind, I'm flanking them and they were engaging, so I went in. <laughs> We're getting Shrek, dude. At least I got the CZ rat. Anivia is carrying all of the load in this game. If we can just get some magic resist, maybe that'll be enough. Awesome. Get blocked! <laughs> Run! No, it's, it's 3v2. We don't want to take it. We'll never know for sure, but I think I blocked the E with my ZZ Rod. I mean, what do you do? We need to cut them off before they go to the Baron. Oh no, they're going for the Dragon. While they're doing that, I'm going to clear out this Redwood. Keep watching. It's gonna be close. We do actually have a lot of damage with the cast. Go, 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 go! I'm running, I'm running. Get out of there. Take the win, take the win. Just run. Reset, reset. Somehow traded two for two. Clearly we can rely on Cass if he gets dead. Okay, I'm heading back to the bot lane. Did our ZZ Rod do any damage to the tower? Barely. He did something though. Run! <laughs> He's just following me around. I just want the dude to stop following me around. I'm trying to create pressure on the side of the map, but the pressure means nothing if you just walk up to me and come to wherever I am. Ugh, okay, two flashes. We'll take that, I'm heading back to the bot lane. No, how did you get hit by that? You could just use your ult. Oh. It's a big opening for us. Just shy of taking the tower. I'm going to swing back around and take it when he's not looking. Dragon coming up. We've died in the mid lane. He's done decent work on the top tower. So I'll quickly grab this air drake while he's distracting them. Thank god for the heck room. Even the cast. Cast is holding his own as well. I'll give him that. I think us three were on the same wavelength, but the other two, you know, they're just doing their own thing. Which, I mean, I can respect that, but... <laughs> The reason we can win VO 1v3 is, like, we're never going to win a team fight against a Fed and Nivea, Cogmore with a Lulu, and an Aatrox who's never going to die. But if you split them up, what are you looking at? You're looking at a Nivea having to defend the mid lane. Aatrox can hold one of us, and then that means there's one wave that's um, completely open for us to, to, to take. Like, if Aatrox is going to match me, he won't kill me. He'll stop my split push, but he won't be able to kill me. 
They're fighting around Baron. Let's quickly run over and grab this inhib. Back now, help him with mid. He has no flash. Come here. I don't have damage. All we're doing is split pushing. He needs to commit to the top. Okay, that's the game plan. I just typed it out for my team, and I'll explain to you now. The reason we want to group at Baron right now is because the inhib is wide open. This means that the super minion is going to be stacking the bot lane. They're not running teleport. Half the reason he's fed is because he's running ignite, which helps him pick up the early kills. Yeah, but in the late game, when the inhib's open, he's got no way to help his team in the Baron fight. He has to stay bot to cover that minion wave. So let's just ward up, and then look to get this Baron, but you don't want to force it right away. Instead, you want to wait until the minions are stacked. We should be forcing this. We don't want to force this. Just wait. Oh, God. Oh, my God, dude. We don't need the Fiddle. Fiddle doesn't offer much. We'll take the 4v4 without the Aatrox being here. When we see someone in the bot, we'll do it. Not yet, not yet. And now. I need to get out. Run, run, run. Everyone reset, reset. Take that as a win. 1-3-1. One, one. I'm going back. Fuck him. <laughs> Man, they're relentless. No. Should have just let him die. Keep the Baron buff. Slower with the Baron. Oh my god, the fiddle. Just letting him die. He's not worth my time. Ideally, I should be in the top lane because the inhib's still up. But bot inhib's gonna be spawning anytime soon, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. We're being flanked. This ghost. Three bot. What can they do on the map? Elder, they should go for the Elder. If they send anyone to defend me, then the Elder's free. And if they don't send anyone, I'm going to be taking the inhib. Somehow we died. That's what happened. Elder was so free. Man, they're going to get the Elder now. It's basically three to block me from getting this. That body nib's dying. Let's head over there. If they chase me, they lose the inhib. Please, please, please. Ah! <laughs> and we're out, boys. Got the tower as well. Can we get the extra inhib? Did we get that elder? Wow, we somehow picked up the elder. We must have missed that. How are we winning? Yeah, dude. We're just winning for a back row. There's not much they can do. We'll just take the mid inhib and then, yeah, three waves of super minions, they're fucked. Wouldn't want to be them right now, killing. 
He's behind us. This, there he is. Oh my god, Fiddle, what are you doing? He's so clueless. It's actually, like, amazing. <laughs> he just let him walk away. <laughs> if only we had Baron, this would be a lot easier. The fight's breaking out. They see me. Fiddle got caught. Just waiting for an opportunity to drop my ZZ Rod. Let's get some wards up. Have some more vision. Really spreading them thin here by walking to the bot side of the map. It looks like we might need this Baron after all. The last thing we need is a 5v5. If they just chill for a little bit while we go for the bot, they'll need to send at least two to stop me, and then it should be a 3v5, a 3v4 of that Baron. If they don't send two and they only send one, I'll just take the base right in front of them. They got the Cogmore here. I imagine Cogmore and Lulu. Okay, four. We should get Baron for free. We won't do anything too crazy until our flash is up. Pretty important. Oh, don't go to him. <laughs> We're holding three by ourselves. I'm just gonna finish this. Come on. No, 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 don't suicide, don't suicide. Oh, goodness, why did he suicide? Should not have suicided there. Oy, oy, oy. The Baron was gonna win. Yeah, I don't know about that, Hecarim. We're gonna give that blue to Cass. He's a pretty big deal for our team comp now. Elder's coming up. Let's wait for this. And yeah, the base is completely open now. Just waiting for the right opportunity to backdoor them. One, two, Cogmore, Lulu, and Eve once again defending. Only two at this point. We see that they've put three towards the Baron. Looking for the Eve. Pick one off. If we stall and just wait for the 4v5. Gonna go around him. There we have it. Woo! Oh my god! <laughs> Bad luck, Candy Girl. You played pretty well. You almost had that. What were you doing at that rift? Gonna give our honor to the Hecarim. Without him, it wouldn't have been possible. The runner-up would have been casted in, of course. Anyway, that was a fun game overall. I'm honestly shocked we managed to win. Our bot lane was a little bit underwhelming, I'm not gonna lie. Hope you enjoyed that video. Don't forget to leave a like, a comment. Suggest another build for me to try out. And yeah, I hope you have a good day. See you guys later. Y'all ain't on his level, bitches tell Torella. Y'all can never beat him like an acapella. If you wanna laugh or cry, head like